Hello, I'm Jonathan Beal with Saratoga Copper. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. As you can tell, there's copper everywhere. Uh, I've been doing this stuff for about 20 years and just tend to accumulate a lot of copper with time. And uh, recently we've been evolving quite a lot into our kitchen. Um, cookware and just kitchen items. You can see we've got uh, um, kitchen canisters, mixing bowls, cookware, uh, scoop, measuring cups, and my partner, she's a baker. She's a damn fine baker, and I like for her to be real happy. And she broke her glass mixing bowl on her KitchenAid Professional Series mixer. And I said, well, let's just make one of those out of copper. So we took it down to the shop. We got all the specs and just how those things work and came up with a copper KitchenAid bowl because copper Nothing is finer if you're trying to whip up something light and fluffy and you're using eggs, like a meringue, maybe a oh, Swiss buttercream meringue, icing. Um, you want to make fluffy omelets, anything you want to make, and you want to make it fluffy with eggs, you want to use copper. There's something scientific or magic about the way copper interacts with egg whites especially. Um, it actually is an interaction between copper and albumin, which is the protein in there, and what it does is it allows for that protein to become more elastic, stretchy, which means that you're going to get peakier egg whites, fluffier eggs, fluffier omelets, fluffier pancakes, whatever you're going to do, it's going to be fluffier because those proteins are going to allow to hold more air and hold more space and just hold um, together more before reaching that point that they break. Um, it's a similar thing for the copper, which is uh, where we kneel it, which allows for more elasticity with the copper or to that structure. And basically what we did here is we just made this piece. You've got, you've got your tabs, you've got your dog ear tabs. We have TIG welded these dog ear tabs on there. This is a TIG, the TIG welding process basically unifies the copper. It, melts this bit piece of copper and it melts this piece of copper and it makes for and we add a little piece of copper wire and we s uh, weld that all together so you have one solid piece you are going to tear this bowl apart before you tear this tab off of um, your KitchenAid your copper mixer for your KitchenAid um, again here what we have is the nipple that fits in on the attachment that holds this piece on there. Here's the two arms that hug this beautiful bowl. Little pour spout handle, copper handle for grabbing hold of this thing. So what you've got here is these two tabs. I like to drop it in on one, push it in on the other. That nipple is going to engage with this steel tab on the back and you just lock it into place. There you go. And I, of course, already made some kind of mistake. You gotta put this thing on first, you know. You see, I, I don't use this thing, but put this on before you put the bowl on, is, is my advice. Um, and then lock it up, you're ready to go. I'm not ready to go, I just make the bowl. But if you cook and you do stuff, you're ready to go.